And uh, I always t start with this lesson because my feeling is if I get the teacher in the right relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, then you can teach them anything you want. It's the same as teaching a child. If you teach them obedience first, then you can teach them anything you want afterwards. If you don't teach them to obey, they're not going to teach. They're not going to listen to you anything else that you try to teach them. And it's the same way with teachers. Um, it's just a little bit different level. If you're not changing yourself, if those lessons aren't hitting you, affecting you, then it starts getting boring, and pretty soon you see people leaving, and you wonder why. Well because it's not real to you anymore. And this lesson, and the lessons that I teach, um, I'm changing, and I get more out of it every time I teach it. In fact, I think I went through it, I was telling Joshua, I think I went through it four times during the night. Uh, I don't know if that happens to you when you're preparing a lesson ready to speak. Uh, me, I get excited. I get excited to be able to teach God's Word. I don't care if I'm here, if I have a translator with me, I do a lot of teaching overseas, and uh, I just get so excited because it's Father, God's Word. Thank you for this day. Thank you that we can still talk about you with freedom and with boldness. And Father, we thank you that you have called us to not only have salvation in you, but Father, to be able to teach others, to teach others, to reach others. And Father, that should be the burden of each one of us, to reach out to those that are lost around us. So Father, as we look at this topic, the teachers that touch lives, Father, help us to uh, be teachers that touch lives for eternity. In Jesus' name, amen. So what, what kind of a teacher well, what does it take to be the teacher that touch lives for eternity? What does it take? Well, let's let's look let's look at that and see if we can. Well, so, what is teaching? The Christian educator says uh, training or teaching is a process by which the behavior of one person is changed into conformity with a standard amplified by another, or shown by example. What kind of example are you? or uh, a model? You know, do we have good role models today in our churches? Uh, I think that's what challenges me continually as I teach. I have to look at myself. And I'm not afraid. I, when I go into churches and areas, I'm not afraid to challenge any one of you to be the man or woman that God wants you to be. Because there's three fingers coming back at me. So when I challenge you, I'm challenged three times more to be the person that God wants me to be. And that's why I share this lesson. Well, what does the um, dictionary say about teaching? It says to impart knowledge or skill to cause to learn by example or experience. So the combination of that is teaching is a process to change, to change the knowledge, skill, and behavior of the learner as a result of the example or experience of the teacher. And who's our master teacher but the Lord Jesus Christ? Now, how many families in your church have devotions like that? When I, when I talk about devotions, people ask me, well, what are devotions? What, what do you do? They have no clue what devotions are. So I know then that they need to have some lessons on how to have devotions with their children. When I, the first time I went to Moscow to teach with Campus Crusade, they told me, Wayne, stress change as you teach those pastors and missionaries and Sunday school teachers and whoever you're teaching. Stress change. Wow, I've been in this work for many years when that came about, and I said, well, I wonder if I'm changing. Am I changing? Do I love the Lord Jesus Christ more today than I did yesterday? Am I growing? Do I want to know him more today than I did yesterday? And I had to examine myself. And I had to come in to the point that I say, you know, I'm not changing. I'm not changing. And I asked right there, I got on my knees and I said, oh Lord, I want to love you more. I want to, 
I want to know you more. And from that time on, my life really has been changing. And God has called me back there many times to teach at, in Moscow and in Belarus and Lithuania, uh, Estonia, uh, Lithuania, Latvia, Finland. What an opportunity. And my life just keeps changing. And I get to know him more and more. And then it, then it says not only to hide God's word in your heart, but to teach God's word. Teach God's word. Why is 80% of the people, boys and girls, young women, or young girls are not, or men are not going to church? 80% of the children do not attend church. Across this land. Because we're not teaching God's word. We're not teaching God's word line upon line, precept upon precept, here and there. We're not doing that. So what do we do? Why? Well, we've got to entertain them. Let's get a program that really entertains these kids. And, well, we start that. What do we got to do? Next week, you've got to have a little better entertainment. Or they're not going to come. And when I came back here to Northern Virginia, when I came back, or when I came to Northern Virginia, People were telling me, Wayne, children have changed here. Because see, we were overseas before that was I said, really? Yeah, you can't teach that old Bible lessons anymore. You've got to have videos, and you've got to have movies. And I said, really? So I was getting a little nervous. Because I had a retreat I had to go to. And I called some people to come help me. And I had a young girl come work with me. And uh, the she was a little late, but their kids were coming in. The parents were bringing bags of videos because we had them all weekend. And I thought, I hate to use those videos. I don't do that. Do you think people have really changed? I'm going through this in my mind. Well, Alice comes. She's just a little Korean girl. And uh, one of the best teachers I've ever seen. She says, I'm sorry I'm late. Let's have prayer. So we prayed. And I knew my, what my work was going to do. She had a lot of work to do. And she said, okay, bang, let's get going. Those kids were playing with those little things, you know, all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all those in the bag. Put them in the bag, put them aside. And she started teaching God's Word. Line upon line, precept upon precept. You know, those kids did not want to go home that night. They come back in the morning all fired up and the parents were saying, what are you guys doing? What are you teaching them? Because we're teaching them God's Word, the old-fashioned way. <laughs> really, from now, years from now, some child, some person says, I remember you. I remember you. I remember you. Let's pray. <clears throat> Father, thank you so much for your love. Thank you, Father, for your grace, for your mercy, for your sovereignty that you know the beginning from the end. Thank you for this opportunity to share my heart, my birth, my vision, to reach every boy, every girl, 